katika shirika la, la wamama ambao ni mwangaza women rights organization uh, ilianza mwaka wa 2012 na ambaye inafanya mambo matatu kwanza ni inaangazia wamama kwa uongozi uh, ila ya pili ni kuangazia kuona kwamba kila mama imekuwa na uwezo wa kujitafutia so ndio tuliwafundisha the dispenser kutengeneza viondo na uh, asari kuliza nyuki hilo lingine ni kuangazia tuone dhuruma zimeiza ama zimepungua katika wamama uh, na, wa, na, wa, na watoto wa chichana FGM ilikuwa juu kama ukeketaji wa chichana ilikuwa juu na pia wamama pia walikuwa na keketwa wakati mimi mama na unapata anja, anja, anja keketwa walikuwa pia wanaenda wanapenda kwa hospitali na wazee wao wakati wa guza uh, wana keketwa pale niliingia hiyo kwa hiyo kikundi trendi about 20 2016 mimi nilisikia hiyo kikundi ni mzuri kwa sababu ina masomo inatosomesa masomo mengi kuhusu FGM watu wengi kwa hiyo kikundi yangu alikuwa anafanya hiyo lakini sasa wamekosa wamekoma yeah we are sensitizing people through public barasas and we also are partnering partnering with the action end through a a forum called the Mongasa Women Forum which is a, a forum for girl child and gender based violence uh, sensitization which uh, goes against uh, those who are dealing with the women in battling uh, FGM and uh, also issues pertaining girl child rights FGM is an issue in Makema as we talk right now and uh, We have the Mwangaza here. We have the office of the president that is in the Ministry of Interior. And I know they are working in partnership with the education office also. When they have those meetings, when they want to meet the head teachers, I do organize with the county director of education, county director TSC still, even at the sub-county level. We organize meetings to sensitize the parents that uh, we don't need FGM at this point because right now, when this is done to the young girls there, they happen to feel that they are grown up they don't need education anymore and therefore they happen to leave school kuna wakati ili tulashimisha tukachukua videos na picha ambao za watu ambao wametahidiwa na ile mashindo wamepitia kwa nini wamesaidiwa zile picha zinatolewa ulikuwa unapata watoto wanaenda wachichana wakilia juu walijua ukweli yuko wapi so ikasaidia watoto hata mtoto akiambiwa na mama lazima uende mwenye wa anakataa juu kuna kitu aliona na aliona hatari When the action aid came in Makema that's about 10 years ago they started uh, educating people on uh, issues pertaining FGMs uh, women rights and uh, through many forums me as a government representative at the location level I partnered with them and uh, we have taken many 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 many, many women and uh, and uh, youths that is young girls for some forums Uh, especially to teach them about their rights and how they have to go about uh, legal issues when their rights are, are, are at stake action ndo ametusaidia kwa sababu wakati walikuwa walikuja na ama kidamu wakuje tulikuwa tu ni sio vero po women group atukua na kitu kingine ya kufanya hiyo merengola au hakuna nje nyingine na tukota tu yemeisha tunaenda nyumbani na tulikuwa na mashida baada tu tunajua wakati action ndo walikuja walienda kutuita kwa mikutano wakatuelezea madhara yake na kama ni gender based violence na kama ni e, waliguza kila kitu waliguzia kila kitu so sisi kama wamama tukajipanga na hii line kuhakikisha mama amepanjua haki yake so wameweza kusaidia kwa kwa elimu wameweza pia kutusaidia kwa kutunganisha pamoja wameweza kusaidia pia kwa pesa jua ju, kama ni mkutano kama ni training i mean training tuko nayo huwa walikuwa wana facility tukaweza kufanya mkutano kama tunaenda tunataka viongozi wa county wote walikuwa na facilitate tunakaa pamoja uh, at least tunaongea as a team kitabu tutengeneze group ya WhatsApp 
tulikuwa na shida nyingi sana kwa sababu tulikuwa kitu inafanyika makema na kama uko machanga aujui kenya kinyafanyika so kama kuna kitu imesendeka ikifanyika makema mwenye ako machanga anajua mwenye ako ebu anajua sababu ni ni kikundi aebu kaunti yote so kama kuna kitu imetendeka sote tunasaidiana tunakuwa kitu kimoja There are those uh, old mamas who used to be, uh, they, they were used to, 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 to circumcise, to circumcise the, the, the girls, that is FGM, gentleman tradition. We took this, uh, this, this old ladies for a seminar, we taught them and we encouraged them to, 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 abandon, the, to abandon the activity so that they set another, another way of having, uh, I mean, uh, getting livelihood mmoja aliacha kabisa kabisa lakini shinda nilikuwa ta wakati aliacha siana tutegemea anatuambia hapa ndio wanilikuwa napata riziki yangu mliniachia ni peni ya kula tukaja kumnunulia kuku tukamtafuta kitchen garden kinoka mbaya atakuwa anauza sukuma hapo akaachilia juu hiyo haikuwa mpango yake I've told the end teachers, whenever a girl is absent without permission, check even the behavioral change of the girl. That tells you probably FGM has been done on that kid. And then we are able to apprehend the parent and know why was this one done. Our women, our girls, our people. And we have to respect them and accord the, the, the necessary support in terms of uh, the challenges they, are, they, they undergo. So uh, I, I would wish that all the women come together because when you, people are together they can they can fight their own problems very easily sisi kama kikundi la mama tunatarajia kitu moja tu miaka ijayo tukue mama ambayo wameheshimika na tunaamini katika zile the income generating activities ambazo tuko nazo ambazo ni za asali na kutengeneza biondo at least sisi tatusaidia kama sisi wa mama tukue mama ambao wanaheshimika kwa kimapato kwa uongozi na uh, ambazo ambao ni wamama ambao wako free na jada based violence hata mwangaza ikienda hata action hii ikienda sisi kama wanawake wa mwangaza sisi tunasimama tuna imara